diagnosing pneumonia clinically is very easy. Uh, so we are diagnosed pneumonia by nasal discharge followed by watery and thick mucus. Then fever will be there, reddish coloration of ocular mucus and ocular discharge will be there. Respiratory di uh, distress will be there. If you use stethoscope, you can find hernia, polypnea and dyspnea. Apart from this, there is increased abdominal respiration in advanced stages. When we do postmortem examination, you will find the normal lungs like this. You can see here trachea, it is very clear. Then uh, these are uh, lung lobes, these are very clear. Uh, sheep has seven lobes, uh, these are three and these are three. These are kept cranial, uh, medial, then uh, this is caudal or diaphragmatic lobes. This is cranial, uh, medial, and uh, uh, diaphragmatic lobe. And one lobe is there that is called lateral lobe. So there are seven lobes. And uh, this is normal lung. In abnormal lungs, you will find such type of discoloration. This is due to consolidation. This is bilateral consolidation. With both sides, the lung is affected with pneumonia. So uh, you will also get the lesion like this. This is severe uh, hemorrhages in lungs. Uh, you will find this hemorrhage in trachea also, hemorrhage and congestion. Many times you will get bilateral pneumonia. Both, both the side, uh, this pneumonia is affected. Then unilateral pneumonia in cranial lobe and uh, then consolidation in caudal lobes. Uh, pulmonary abscesses also you will find. Then sometimes you will find red hepatization of lungs and sometimes uh, entire lung will be congested. If you cut the lungs, you will find this type of micro abscesses. Sometimes uh, there is micro nodules, white nodules also there. Here you can find the uh, nodules and there is severe congestion and edema of the lung. Then you will also find gun pleura and there is adhesion between lungs, heart, and thoracic cavity due to pleuritis. In septicemic cases, along with pneumonia, you will find uh, these petechial hemorrhages, also pericardial effusion or hydropericardium. This is the classification of pneumonia uh, that is uh, acute fibrinous bronchopneumonia, chronic fibrinous uh, bronchopneumonia, acute interstitial pneumonia, chronic interstitial pneumonia, then bronco interstitial pneumonia, Acute separative bronchopneumonia, chronic separative bronchopneumonia, vermeous pneumonia, aspiration pneumonia, and coin pulmonary adenomatosis. Along with these, uh, other lesions are atelectasis of lungs, hemorrhage, and emphysema.